Okay, my friends, I got a new project now. This is gonna be a, a new Katrina, and that's gonna be a, my new model. It's a, it's a beautiful girl, as you can see, and I'm gonna put it into Katrina. So, I already got already a trace, trace up, um, <clears throat> and I'm gonna start applying the plaster. So I'm ready to go. It measures uh, 140 by 110 uh, centimeters. And here I go, here I go, here I go. I'm gonna start uh, doing the, the plaster. So and then I, I will keep going with the, the rest of it. So. That's it. Let's start. Not much to, to say. Love the model. It's a very beautiful girl. And I think it's going to be a nice painting. Sorry, it comes smooth because that's the way that it goes. So, just started with the easy part. Then I come back and keep going because it's a uh, And if you can see from there, okay. I see you not see nothing. Okay, let's get closer so you can start seeing the the plaster and then I'm going to to slightly uh, airbrush it to get shades and all those things. Then I'm gonna keep going with this. Uh, as you see, everything, every time I make it different. Um, last time I, I, I start with thick traces, and this time I, I, I went very slow doing the, the pencil because it requires more. Uh, more time this is a very antique tradition when the pe poor people wanted to look like uh, rich people due to the uh, Spanish colony um, especially on, on that day or day of the dead they used to powder their faces with, with a chickpea powder and, and go to this um, group of people where they doing the parties and doing the uh, politics things just to manifest their unhappiness with things going on back in that time Okay, I'm gonna bring you a small video about the history of the Katrina. Um, it's not my video, it's somebody else, and this will explain it really good. It's the best thing that I find in, in the internet, and I hope you can understand better about the, the whole 
History when it come from Katrina. El Día de Muertos es una celebración única en el mundo. Se trata de una festividad con orígenes prehispánicos, mexicas, mezclado con tradiciones cristianas de la influencia colonial española y que hoy en día se ha convertido en un ritual lleno de color y simbolismo que traspasa fronteras y llega incluso a la moda y a otras fiestas populares. Las Catrinas, símbolo por excelencia de esta celebración. La Catrina tiene una imagen tan poderosa y mística que ha traspasado fronteras y es conocida alrededor del mundo. Pero ¿cuál es el origen? ¿Cómo nació esta enigmática figura? ¿Quién fue su creador? El origen de la Catrina comenzó durante los gobiernos de Benito Juárez, Sebastián Lerdo de Tejada y Porfirio Díaz. Se empezaron a popularizar textos y caricaturas en periódicos que expresaban el descontento del pueblo mexicano en relación a las clases más privilegiadas. La Gran Dama de la Muerte apareció por primera vez en 1912 y su creador fue el ilustrador, grabador y caricaturista mexicano José Guadalupe Posada, nacido en Aguascalientes. En los trabajos de Posada solían aparecer animales ponzoñosos como culebras y serpientes, esqueletos o ángeles, que combinados con frases sarcásticas o irónicas señalaban las problemáticas que dominaban el interés nacional. Posada colaboró en periódicos de combate como El Hijo del Aguizote, Argos, La Patria, entre otros, con sus grabados e ilustraciones. La Catrina, o llamada originalmente en un comienzo la Calavera Garbancera, nació como una crítica al clasismo de la sociedad mexicana. Su significado es que la muerte nos iguala a todos, ricos y pobres. El nombre tiene su origen en los vendedores de garbanzo, que renegaban de sus raíces indígenas y aspiraban a tener el estilo de vida de los europeos. Muchos de ellos querían aparentarse ricos, siendo de bajos recursos. Cabe señalar que la imagen que inmortalizó al ilustrador José Guadalupe Posada está inspirada en el trabajo del maestro grabador Manuel Manilla, particularmente en la obra titulada Calavera Tapatía de 1890. Manilla fue el primero en realizar grabados, en donde se humanizaba y caricaturizaba a la muerte. De esta manera, la influencia que recibió Posada fue directa, ya que ambos trabajaron en el taller de Antonio Vanegas Arroyo. Posteriormente, Posada supliría a Manilla. Manilla empezó a trabajar con Vanegas en 1882 y se retiró en 1892. A partir de esa época, realizó alrededor de 600 grabados, cuyas particularidades residían en la fusión armoniosa de historia, humor e ingenuidad. Posada no fue reconocido sino hasta después de su muerte, y fue específicamente el muralista Diego Rivera quien reconoció su trabajo como verdadero arte popular y le dio gran difusión a su calavera garbancera. La Catrina como símbolo popular de la muerte fue bautizada así por el muralista Diego Rivera en 1947 y fue quien le dio su atuendo característico con su estola de plumas al plasmarla en su mural Sueño de una tarde dominical en la Alameda Central donde la calavera aparece con su creador José Guadalupe Posada y una versión infantil de Rivera y con Frida Kahlo y por esta obra se le empezó a llamar a la calavera garbancera, la Catrina. El nombre de Catrina proviene de la palabra Catrín, sinónimo de elegante, distinguido, bien vestido, fino, sofisticado y otros adjetivos con el que el pueblo denominaba a las clases privilegiadas de esa época. El término Catrín, a su vez, se popularizó en México en la época del porfiriato, entre 1876 y 1911, esta época en la que el presidente era Porfirio Díaz, se caracterizó por las enormes desigualdades que había entre las clases sociales. Por las tardes, las señoras de la alta sociedad que vivían en las casas del primer cuadro de la capital salían a dar un paseo por la Alameda, siempre muy elegantes 
con su sombrero y una sombrilla. La Catrina es la compañera del Catrín y con ese garbo ha permanecido hasta nuestros días. La Catrina es un elemento icónico en las celebraciones de Día de Muertos y mundialmente famosa. Es una representación gráfica del folclore mexicano por el simbolismo que guarda, aunque el significado que le daba Posada ya no es el mismo que le damos hoy en día. Aún así, es un gran regalo para nuestra cultura mexicana, ya que aún después de 100 años, todavía se reconozca con tal fervor que incluso se le ha llegado a asociar con Mixtecasíhuatl, la señora de la muerte de la época prehispánica. Recordemos que la Catrina es un símbolo de protesta y se ha sumado a la tradición e historia mexicana. La Catrina siempre se viste de colores y alegría, pues la muerte no debe ser gris ni triste, y mucho menos inspirar temor. Por el contrario, debe ser vista como símbolo de respeto, alegría y como recordatorio de la vida misma. Okay, for the mixing, I like to uh, use these kind of glasses. This is like a tequila glasses, and I'm gonna use this uh, Polytech paint. It's, it's, a, it's a cheap paint, but I like it because it's, a, it's opaque. So let's start getting some water, just normal water, water from the top. Oops. Not much because I don't want too much. It's a tiny bit. Um. <coughs> oh, let me let me get a drop of this because we don't want it too intense. We just gonna uh, start uh, shading this stuff and maybe just a tiny bit like that. Uh, Just one little drop over there. Mm. Maybe that's enough. And then I'm gonna fix the other one. The other one is gonna be a, a bit stronger. I think this that's enough. Anyways, I can fix more. Let me get some of this mess I made over there. <laughs> So how I see the intensity is on the wall of the, uh, of the glass. It's just inclined and coming back. So that one slider. Huh? Well, I think I'm gonna start with this and. Come 
that one more. Check a check. So I can change if I require uh, more uh, more paint. So I can. Come stick it, make it dark. Okay, my friends, I start getting some shades now. Um, it's it, it's looking a little too dark by now because uh, it doesn't have a uh, surrounding color. Um, and of course, I'm gonna uh, just this is the first uh, let's say the spray coat, and then I'm gonna come back with with more. Uh, The more white uh, star uh, punching right there where, where it needs it. Right now it's just uh, getting some approach. I want it surrounding. I want uh, those places where it needs the shade. For example, here. Here. More here. Lots of things gonna change here. Mm -hmm. It's cooking. It's cooking little by little. Mm. Uh, 
ehm, vero va giro this is going they don't want to rush too much go slow because they get over spray it's going to be more difficult to prepare Okay, my friends, this is going to be the last session because uh, I'm running out of battery. So, uh, that's the change going on right now. And <clears throat> I think it's maybe it looks uh, like too dark by the moment because it doesn't have the surrounding colors. So, uh, I'm just going to continue. Uh, the shade, I just wanted to bring a, a little advance, so uh, how it's coming. And, and so far, it's, it's, it's doing really good. It's not because I'm doing it, <laughs> because uh, it's not all the time. <laughs> um, then I'm going to start applying the black of the, of the hair. And then uh, um, I'm bringing you another piece because right now I'm going to apply a little white uh, over here. Just a tiny white, uh, just to, to fix a small details. And, and then come back again. So more or less this is my flower. And I think it's, it's doing good, it's looking good, I mean, let me take out of the uh, frame, let me take it out of the... of the holder, this, uh, so you can take a look, whoa, whoa. Okay, it's coming up uh, little by little, I made a terrible mistake about Gain it, uh, getting the shades on, on grays instead of using a raw upper. But I'm gonna fix that after I finish with the hair because I just want to cover as fast as I can. So, not much detail, just. Just a fill out work. <clears throat> okay, I think I got it done here. Just Oh, of course, where the flower comes. <laughs> okay, let's go down. Let's fill up that hole over there.
Okay, my friends, this is uh, how far I got today. And just gonna uh, show some, uh, some details I'm fixing right now. For example, the flower, uh, I need to, to balance it more with the other ones. It looks kind of uh, weird. It looks like uh, this has to grow. I'm working on the, the edges right now. Then I'm gonna fix this. Um, and uh, I'm gonna start um, trying to figure out how it's gonna be the, the features of the Katrina because uh, I think I'm gonna lose a lot of the, uh, the eye thing. But I don't want to lose uh, her um, characteristics, uh, the features. So, um, I think, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I, I think uh, the background, I like the background, by the way. Um, I think some wine color will be good. Not quite sure about that, but. Uh, I'm thinking about that, so. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna go with the flowers and then um, I start doing the uh, the background because the background has to change stuff. I don't know, I don't know if I, maybe it's some green. I don't know, what do you think? Just give me some suggestions. Maybe uh, red, not red because I already got one on red, so. Of course, you have to look different. Uh, let's take a, a close look so you can see all, all the all the scratches, all the details, uh, and working on this because it has to be very rafty. So rafty and fine are, are the same thing. So from far away, it looks more like a picture, but when you get closer. Uh, you start seeing all those uh, interesting details that makes uh, richer uh, the painting. Okay, my friends, new approach so, for today. Um, I'm gonna leave it like that uh, right now because uh, I've been working all night. So just wanna show you uh, the progress. Um, It's almost, 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 almost done. Well, the main part. Um, right now it's a portrait. Um, and next thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna uh, get the features, the Katrina. So because this is gonna be a Katrina. So uh, I'm gonna start doing the, tomorrow, uh, or the, all the, um, the decoration for the uh, for the face and um, gonna be a happy Katrina.
For my friends, um, almost done. I always say that, but in reality, uh, Friends, let's take a look. After a week of work, uh, Katrina 2 came to the end. So let's take a close look. I put some glitter on the flower. Over there, here. You probably uh, won't see it. Let's see if you can, we can get some shine. Um, no, it needs a light so for the glitter to glow but anyways um that's the the, the final finishing so one more close look about all the paste that, that I got on the on the painting very rich for the eye and let's go a uh, far view uh, don't forget to, to visit my my website is angelartmx.com I put it in the description below in case you wanna come take a look see uh, what I got well uh, I guess uh, that's it I'll see you later until the next one